This is Steve the Plaster Man, and we are here in Southwest Virginia. This home that I'm standing in front of is known as the Robert Preston House. It was built in the late 1700s. I believe Mr. Preston received a grant from uh, Thomas Jefferson. He was a surveyor that surveyed the town of Abington, Virginia. And we were blessed years ago, before we were doing the videos, to plaster the inside of this house. So we're going to take a little tour. We're up here to do some rest repair work. Well, let's take a look inside. Let me show you some neat plaster work. So guys, as we step through these doors here, this, we're walking into 1790s. It is amazing that this home stayed in the same family, as from what I understand, up until the 70s, and then I think the Historical Society of Bristol purchased it. Uh, that's my understanding. I might be a little wrong on some of the details, but... There's so much to tell in here. Guys, let's come in here. This is what we're here to do. We may have some water damage, uh, some flashing or something against the chimney. Anyway, we're going to, that's why we're here today. We're going to do some repair work in here. Uh, but I, I wanted to show this, this wonderful home um, and the way it's been preserved. There's been many people uh, donated time, money, a lot of effort has been put into preservation of this, and I uh, want to give you a thanks for all that. But I want you to take a look right in, in here. This was one of the one of the rooms of this uh, fine home. We did replaster the walls; they were in really bad shape. Um, they've actually held up real well. They haven't painted them yet. Let's go on in here. I want to show you something pretty cool. Um, these homes were, this was a frontier home. Uh, there wasn't a lot around here, I don't think, at the time of the, this was constructed. But here's the really cool part. When we plastered this, a lot of the plaster was missing, and we wanted to expose, so they're gonna open this to, like, uh, the public to come through and look. And we want people to understand how this was constructed. This wood here is what we call split lath. They took something, let's say like a firewood, which is longer than that, and they would take a metal bar and a, a wooden mallet and split it. You can see how rough it is. These nails are hand forged nails. And we just left this open. They're going to put a little piece of plexiglass so people can appreciate how this was constructed. You can see through how the, on the other side, how the mud went. We call those keys. Um, but it's plastering has came a long way since then. Um, I just think that's pretty cool. This was, now imagine this, somebody 240 years ago maybe, or 230 some years ago, stood here and was nailing these in. Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, this room was over here behind us, above this fireplace. This was mostly missing in here. You can see the uh, limestone fireplace is still original, intact. Um, but we did quite a quite a bit. This, this whole wall was actually listing a little bit. They uh, secured it. But up here is something else that's pretty cool. If you see the little hangers here um, in the ceilings, we left those. I'm not sure. I believe that was to hang the lights from. But we did leave those in here. Let's take a Let's take a look upstairs right quick. If you've 
look and see how worn these steps are as you go up. Now, I'm not a wood man, but I can't appreciate all this that all they had was just, they had no electric tools then when they constructed this. And we come on up here, and this was their, I like the way they made a, an additional little room just by wooden planks. Uh, but in here, there's another small repair job we've got to do. But uh, you can you can see the fireplace again. They've had some water damage there, and we've got a little bit of a stress crack above this chimney here. I guess that's partially due to water also. But uh, but anyway, let's start. I want to show you something really super cool. I think so. Come in here to the upstairs bedroom, and the steps actually go up into the attic. And when we open this door here, part of this wall, the original plaster, we've never done anything to this. I don't know how bright you can see it here. This is the original plaster from 17, late 1700s. I'm not exactly sure what time frame. But I think that's pretty cool. And then if you can see up here there's something else it's not plaster but it's really cool they these boards that are up here are original hand hewed boards and the i want you to look this is probably two foot wide here and they sawed this in what was called a pit saw. They chopped it down, or sawed it down. You can see the end of the board down here. That, how rough it is. This was part of the tree when they got down to the, down to the end, they just stopped. Um, that's pretty cool. And then right above your head, these beams that are holding this up, Let's see if I can find it. Well, it's down just a little bit. Don't fall. But see how they have markings? There's a three. Well, on this beam here, how they've fastened it together right here is a three. So they've marked these so they would know where they go. On the other side, on the other side of it here, they've etched in a two. And right up here is a two. And then they've used these wooden dowels. Like I say, I'm not a wood man, but I can sure appreciate the craftsmanship and understanding how this was constructed in the late 1700s. That is pretty amazing. It's stood this long. And once again, appreciation for all the people who have helped to preserve this I mean, it's just amazing that this is still standing. Let's go on back outside. I mean, here's something else. Let me just look at the, the hardware on these. If you can tell, I love historical structures. I love the history of it. One other quick thing, I meant, almost forgot. We did this, what, maybe seven years ago now? Um, I don't know, it's been quite a while. Even then, I preserved, I saved a piece of plaster that had came out and left it here with them. You can see that's part of the original plaster. And we saved it, and of course we did put our history dust and we still have history dust from this job that we sprinkle in some of the projects my son does. Um, but 
this is just a really cool house and oh I know one thing I was going to say it is also on the Lewis and Clark trail apparently when they came back from the one of the guys stopped and had breakfast at the, the plantation so this is part of the Lewis and Clark you hear about them in history in school or I used to uh, and I'm actually standing in a place where one of them come by. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's go on back outside. So guys, just wrapping up here. I just want you to know this is a pretty cool old home and we want to give a thanks out to all the people who have been instrumental in preserving the time, effort, money. So, once again, this is the Robert Preston home, Southwest Virginia. We did the plaster on it, and I hope you like this little video. If you do, I appreciate it if you like it. Maybe subscribe. Steve Flasterman, catch you on next time.